please take a look but do not fall down there what is it? it's a part of the tunnel and as the men walked from the male dungeon all the way through to the door of no return european soldiers rather stood here with their guns and checked on them because they were not going in there with them why they were not going in there because it was so hot smelly and everything so they had domestic captives who held whips and served as overseers and checked on their only brothers to go through as well please this was made a water system and the other parts of the tunnel were made storage spaces because after slave trade the europeans knew they were going to colonize the people of this country and if colon uh, colonial rule is going to start it means they are going to manage the affairs of the nation and the nation's natural resources and if they are managing your natural resources of course they need more storage spaces to hoard more of the natural resources right that is why they converted parts of the tunnel into storage spaces 1000 men walked through all the way to the door of no return and as they walked through they were always in shackles and chains and if they were always in shackles and chains these shackles and chains actually slowed them down plus they put their brothers along with them so it's actually took forever for them to get out there that is why it made them so weak when they were at the door of no return that they can't even fight and free them. So I have all the women in here. Guys, let's take it that these women happen to be the very strong African women that never allowed themselves for the Europeans to rape them or anything like that. The Europeans will bring them here and lock them up with a very heavy door like the one we saw on the condemned cell. If you are here, you get food and water once a day as a punishment through that hole. That was their source of light and ventilation. And as you stay here, you only have a piece of cloth around your waist, which was a general attire for everybody in the dungeon. You have to defecate and urinate in there. So it never felt in any way nice for all these women to be here, for them to be in the dungeons, and for even the men to be in the male dungeons in shackles and chains 24 hours, three months, as well. So the women were not in shackles? In the, the women were not in shackles because they were considered very vulnerable, but the men were always in shackles and chains 24 hours. separate rooms for African women but amongst the women there were children from the age of 12 male and female male from 12 to 14 with a female from 12 to 35 they left kids younger than 12 behind so then the next years when they come around they get people that are much older to take them abroad they will all be here about 250 women with a kid inclusive the same number on the opposite side of the room. So 500 women, 1,000 men. That is what made Cape Coast Castle the biggest slave castle and one time the headquarters of transatlantic slave trade. Well, the women went through the same thing as the men did. But the thing is that if they are here at some point, there will be European soldiers who will come, pick a woman, of her choice, get to clean her up with sea water because of the salt present. That will clean up the feces, urine, menstrual blood on the air. Then they will get fresh water from the cisterns at the courtyard and wash them up. There were some European soldiers when they came here. They were so drunk that when they get you, they didn't care whether you are smelly or you are filthy. They will just rip you in the state you are in. Aside that. They sometimes found some of the people here pregnant. And if you are pregnant, they have houses out of the castle where they will take care of you. You have your child. When you have your child, they have schools for them. They go to school. When they are old enough, they will employ them to work in the castle, in the companies they have around here. The mother's got to stay out there and take care of the kids. Because if you bring her back, who's going to be the best person to do that job than the mother herself? But in most cases, women that were pregnant here, were rather found pregnant on board the slave ships. 
If you are found on board a slave ship pregnant True. on route to the destinations, they will pick you up and toss you into the sea. The reason is that when they make it to the Americas, as a pregnant woman, you're going to become liability. You'll be pregnant, you'll sit there, they have to take care of you, give you everything. What if your baby doesn't even survive? They end up losing money. And how will your baby and you survive on board a slave ship? Because on board the ships, they packed people on decks, one on top of the other. You're going to find yourself at the bottom, and if you're at the bottom, trust me, every liquid waste on the top will drop to the bottom. So by six weeks or three months, by the time they make it to the Americas, lots of people, so much so that it was estimated that out of 100%, only 40% of the people made it, 60% of them lost their lives. And through Cape Coast Castle, over the period of 200 years, there were about 4 million people that were estimated to have walked out <coughs> of the door of no return. Through Elmina Castle, it was estimated that over the period of 400 years, there were about 11.5 to about 13 million people that walked out of the door of no return. And the majority of the people that were taken from Africa were taken by the Portuguese. Most of them sent to South America. The second highest number to the Caribbean islands and a minority sent to the United States of America. So then Brazil received the biggest mm. number of Africans that were taken from Africa. So much so that today Brazil has got 54% black population, 46% white population. And in the whole of the world, Nigeria holds the biggest African population, but Brazil are closely behind Nigeria in terms of African population in the world. That makes it clear that if you go to Brazil, there are more Africans there than Ghana, which is an African country. And that is because of transatlantic slave trade. Well, about 70% of people that were brought to the dungeons of Cape Coast Castle were Ghanaians. 30% other West African countries. But then from here, directly, they sent people to Jamaica, to Barbados to Bahamas, to Trinidad, British Guyana, South and North Carolina, Charleston, Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama, Virginia, and so many other places out there. That is why the Obamas got to visit Cape Coast Castle, because Michelle Obama had traced her ancestry to Cape Coast and to Cape Coast Castle, and she had to come and see where the ancestors were taken from. So she came with her daughters, her mother, and the husband had no choice than to come and give them his moral support. Other than that, ex-President Obama had no ties to this place. But it was because of the wife's DNA. That's why he came here to see this castle. Wonderful people, let's walk out of the door of the return and see what's out there. Give it. We have here the stairs here. And this, partially renovated some years back, happens to be the very, very original stairs. African men and women that were shackled and chained used down. And anytime they went down, the soil down there was the very last African soil they ever touched in Africa. Of course, there were boats waiting for them to carry them to the ships. So they never ever came back. And the stairs we have here was the one the Europeans were using in and out of the castle. 